Honey, I feel really blah, and out of sorts. I'm tired. I'm worn out. Perhaps you need to get more exercise. That usually helps with the blues. Honey, I want to talk about my feelings and have you listen and understand me. You want to just fix the problem and be done with it. Why do men have to fix things instead of listening to our feelings? What if it were otherwise? Look here at the sensitive caveman, 20,000 years ago. Org, it is so cold in here. I'm freezing, and I'm hungry. The wind is coming through the cracks in our hovel, the fire is about to go out, and we have no meat left. I'm afraid the children will starve and die. Inga, I know just how you feel. I too feel cold, and I am hungry. I also worry about our children, just as you do. So I really do understand your feelings. Org, the fire just went out. Inga, I feel your pain. Enough? What's wrong with that man? Any normal man would feel horribly inadequate about not providing better for his wife and children. He would push himself to gather more firewood, fix the cracks in the shelter, or hunt a rabbit, or do something to try to solve what is troubling her. And that is why men feel they have to fix things, and not just listen to our complaints and try to understand us? Men who are fixers pass their genes to the next generation, continuing the strong male inclination to try to fix it when a woman is upset. So perhaps we can offer some advice. Women, if your man feels he has to fix things when you are upset, realize that it could be worse. Would you want a man who understands you, on and on, and never fixes anything? And fellows, a suggestion for you, too. Listen first, show you understand, and then see if it is something you can try to fix. This animation was adapted from the book, You Still Don't Understand, by Dr. D and wife Dr. Nancy Ann Davis. We hope you enjoyed it.